super bougie. I hope you're having a decent summer. I know some of you are still stuck indoors. I'm still mostly indoors as well, but I hope this video might help to cheer you up a bit. Here are 10 ways to wear pink for different occasions. So you don't end up walking around looking like Jigglypuff in an oversized sweater or like you walked out of a scene of Legally Blonde. If you're new to this channel, I'm a fashion designer and a consultant and I really love talking about fashion, style, skincare and different ways to experiment with your wardrobe. Firstly, I'm going to show you a range of outfits to wear on smart casual occasions or as workwear, especially if you work in a creative job or a more relaxed job. Firstly, I paired a pink sweater from And Other Stories with a pair of brick pink tapered cropped trousers from New Look. I really like this combination because the sweater has a pink bluish undertone, which contrasts really well with the red undertone of the trousers. You often find that pink comes in a more ready shade or a more bluish shade towards more like a purple or a lilac. But on the colour wheel, you find that orangey shades tend to clash or contrast with bluey shades. So I really like pairing like a cool pink with a hot warm pink. It's really nice to play around with warm and cool tones. This outfit screams, I work in fashion or I work in film. And it's really nice to pair a pair of brightly coloured, artsy, Matisse-esque earrings with outfits like this. When you have very simple shapes on the top and the bottom, you can draw more attention to a statement piece of jewellery and it gives it a really artsy feel like a Matisse painting or something. When you wear oversized sweaters like this, it's really important to pair it with maybe some higher waisted trousers. So the lines of the outfit will hit you right in the middle of your waistline. You don't want your jumper to finish down here because you will lose your waistline. Having a belt as well will really help to cinch in your waistline and give you more of a feminine silhouette. I also wore a pair of brogue sandals. I love how they're a cross between sandals and a really classic shoe shape. So next up, I've paired a slightly sandy pink brushed cotton sweater with a pair of checked trousers. These trousers have a lower waistline which allows me to tuck more of the jumper into it without it becoming like way too bulky. It's also a really good idea to wear a pink shade which isn't like a traditional bright pink for casual wear. I also paired these culottes with some pointed toe patent leather Chelsea boots from Topshop. You don't want to make yourself look shorter. In order to maintain the length of your leg, it's really good to wear something with a slight heel so you still look long and streamlined. Especially if you're not a very tall person, you don't want to make yourself look even shorter by having a trouser line which stops right above your ankle because then you lose that extra bit of leg. So for this casual look, I paired a pair of H&M sandals with a low heel with ripped jeans and a cut work pink top with like this really nice, cute bell puff sleeves. It's really nice for summer's days out. It's really nice if you're going out on the weekend, maybe like a picnic or a barbecue. The volume is slightly just above your waist rather than being something that extends three quarter length. And the reason why that's good, because actually again, the volume around the top of your arm makes your waistline look even smaller in comparison. It creates like a really nice triangle, I suppose, on the top half of your body, which is quite flattering. So this look is a very nice look for summer, for casual events like barbecues again. It's more of a colour blocking style and it's very vibrant. So again, we're going with a very loud shade of fuchsia pink paired with a very vibrant, sunny, yellow leather A-line skirt. 
it's really cute it's a really darling look it's really nice again maybe if you're going on a summer maybe third date i wouldn't wear this on your first date <laughs> But maybe I would wear it on maybe the fourth day, especially if it's really hot, it's high summer, maybe not even this year, not that any dates are really happening for me right now because, you know, lockdown. I love colour blocking, I know it was a trend years ago, but to be honest, like, you can never go wrong with pairing two vibrant complementary colours together. Oh, colour theory! <laughs> it's really nice to have something that's like really vibrant and lovely and happy and cheerful. And again, with this ruffle sleeve, we're starting to get a little bit more bougie. You know, the sleeve gives it a bit of extra zhuzh, a little bit of extra bouge. You can really fling your shoulder with this. You can definitely wear something like this in the summer holiday. If yellow is too bright for you, you can pair the top with a neutral skirt or skirt. I paired this with some low heels and also some thigh high boots. Be careful that it doesn't ride up at the back though. Next we have this modern reinterpretation of a tea dress. I love that it has cutouts on the side. This is another way to wear pink. You can wear pink in the form of a print. I love when pink is on a black background like this because it helps to balance the colour. They made the dress look a little bit more daring, a little bit more sensual with the cutouts and also it has a slit on both sides so it is quite risque but you can get away with it, you know, but I love it. It's a very British English rose print it's very romantic again and you know you can pair this with like a nice handbag i have like a metallic handbag from and other stories as usual for prints on black backgrounds you can pair like a nice metallic pink bag as like an accent you know it would have been nice to have a metallic pink dress actually in this Maybe I'll make one. I've got metallic pink fabric actually, so metallic dress coming soon. Maybe I'll put the colour here and you can let me know in the comments below what outfit I should make out of it. It kind of looks like Beyonce's Topshop dress or Lanvin's metallic pink skirt from there. I can't remember which fall winter collection it was, but I'll put it here. Put a vote in the comments below and I will take a look and possibly film a video. Next, for evening wear, you can go more dramatic, more bold and more vibrant with the shade of pink. This is really good for prom, it's a really good look for weddings as well, for wedding after parties and yeah, it's very feminine and very romantic, it has a ruffle on the bottom and a ruffle around the shoulder as well. I would stay away from this look if you're conscious about having wider shoulders because it will draw more attention to your shoulder area and make it potentially look broader. Um, but if you're somebody who doesn't have a very strong shoulder, you can definitely get away with this as well. I love that the lace is in neon pink, but the lace still has a very traditional lace pattern. It's a really nice interpretation of a very classic material. This outfit will really stand out at night time if you're going out in the evening. You can imagine the camera will really pick up the neon pink colour when the flash goes off. So again, this can be worn for prom, it can be worn for formal evening events because it's not too much. The ruffles aren't super dramatic, so it's still very classic in you know, the silhouette, so you can definitely get away with it for slightly more formal events. It's not quite clubbing wear, but you can definitely bust a move in this dress. Now we have a really good outfit for red carpet events and also for wedding ceremonies as well. If you're going to be a guest, then this is a really lovely cocktail dress that you can wear. It's really cute and mini. It stops just above the knee. If you want to see the video where I make this dress, click the link here. 
But don't click the link here. I want you to see the final look in this list. This is the type of look you wear when you want extra drama, but you want to look quite cute. It's the type of look that somebody like Ariana Grande would wear, so, you know, or somebody from Black Pink would wear. It's very cute. This is another interpretation of color blocking, but instead we're using two shades of pink. On the top we have our fuchsia pink shade again, but we're coupling it with a light powder pink and they go extremely well. You can play with shades of one colour in one outfit and it can work extremely well. You can have darker on the top and lighter on the bottom or vice versa. I coupled this with a dangly clear earring and again it's a nice neutral colour, see-through colour which won't clash with the outfit. You want to keep jewellery very neutral when you're wearing so much colour. So I opted for a piece of jewellery that's literally transparent, so... Here I'm wearing a peplum dress by Zara. I love how the pink looks against the cream background. Unfortunately though, I found that it doesn't fit very well anymore. I can barely get the bottom pencil skirt over my body. So here's how it looks from the top upwards. If you want to buy this dress, let me know in the comments below. I need to get rid of it. I've never worn it, unfortunately. I thought I was going to have more weddings to go to. This is the final look. I'm wearing a ruffle, long dress in silk file with a train. It's perfect for red carpet events and it's a really bright fuchsia colour. Again, you can get away with extremely bright colours for special occasions, special events, especially if it's like a fashion event like the Met Gala. Not that I'm being invited to the Met Gala, but this type of look would be perfect. This dress was inspired by Rihanna's Fenty launch dress. The dress was actually custom made for her by Calvin Klein, so there's only one in existence. I really love how dramatic this dress is. It's really bold without being too much and it focuses mostly on just the texture and the ruffles because it's all one colour. If you want to see the video where I make this dress, click the link above my head right now. Let me know in the comments below which outfit was your favourite pink outfit and also remember to hit the bell and subscribe so you know when I upload my next video. Also hit the like button, it really helps me with the algorithm. You can also send your questions uh, in the comments below. I have a form where you can send any question you want for a future Self Care Sunday video. I can answer your questions about styling, fashion advice, wellness advice, or you can send me general questions related to more or less anything you want and I'll answer it in my next self-care Sunday. Also let me know what metallic pink outfit would you like me to make in my next Sew with Zoe video. I also have an Instagram so please follow me on Instagram for daily fashion and wellness posts. Expect to see things about skincare, fashion and also just what I'm up to as a creative in London. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next video.